Hello everybody. Here we are getting into some chess. I've already played today as you can see. And real quick, I wanted to show you this absolute disaster of a game. Check this out. This, this is so sad. <laughs> Look how I was absolutely crushing in the game. My opponent played the Scotch opening. Is it the Scotch or the Scotch Gambit? I don't even know. Let's see, what does it say? Uh, wait, does it say on this screen? Scotch game. So it's not a Gambit, it's the Scotch game. Anyway, I don't really know how to play against it, but I did okay. You know, I'm not always making the best moves, but it's okay. Uh, I end up with a big advantage all the way through here. I'm doing really well. Look at him. He's got one, two, three pawn islands. I have two. I have an extra pawn. So, right here, I'm doing okay. I've got a four point advantage. <sighs> I come up. Best move. Four point advantage. Are you ready? Black to lose. Or not lose, but black to completely throw away advantage. How do you do that in this position? Well, here's what I thought. I thought, I want to defend the, these pawns, make them into a nice strong pawn chain, and then bring my king over here and attack. Blunder! I lose my entire advantage. It's now a draw. Okay? But I don't know that yet. So he goes here, which is a great move. <coughs> Excuse me. He's obviously going to go after here. I thought for a while, and I was like, okay, well, that's fine. I'm going to just, you know, he's got to clean up these pawns. I'm going to go take these, and then over here, I should have an advantage. Blunder. Lose the game. <laughs> now it's plus seven. It went from minus four to plus seven in the last three moves. So <clears throat> I don't understand end games. Obviously, bringing your king to the center. I thought that's what you're supposed to do. Apparently not. Uh, protecting your pawns. I figured that would be a good thing. So I'm, I definitely need to learn more about endgames. And I'm watching Daniel Naroditsky's new series about pawn endgames. Hopefully, that will help me. Because I need help. I mean, look at this. This is bad. And I don't even get it. Do you know what I'm supposed to do here? Do you know, take a guess. What am I supposed to do here to preserve my advantage? It's not move this pawn. I'll give you a hint. It's not give a check or anything like that. What do I do here? <clears throat> Ready? Instead of that? Yeah, push this pawn. What? <laughs> what, what? What? What does that mean? What does that do? <clears throat> I don't get it. I don't get it, guys. So, I'm, yeah. I don't know what else to say. I don't understand endgames. Hopefully, I'm going to learn something from this new series. But, I just wanted to show you this sad game. And now, let's jump into a new game. Here we go. Play online. Play. All right. And we are playing as white. So, we're going to do our London system open. If we can. As long as we don't face the old Benoni. And we're in. We're in, guys. I also did my puzzle warm-up this morning. So have no fear. Everything is good. Okay, so he's blocked his bishop. His bishop is not coming out here. He's also not pushing to, to e5 right away. So I don't need to bring my knight out. Let's just play like normal. Here we go. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go for the Jobava London since, well, I don't know. All right, we're going to bring out our knight. Actually, why don't I go ahead and put my bishop here too, since his bishop, well... Okay, so since he brought his knight out, I think c4 is a good move. Um, as is pinning the knight. It's a decent move. Actually, if I pin the knight... Maybe that's better. I'm, um, 
Okay, here's what I'm thinking, guys. Eh, I always do that attack, and it never works. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this one. We're doing the Jobava. Now, if he pushes this pawn, then Jobava is canceled. <laughs> oh no, he knows it. He, he gets it, guys. This guy knows what he's doing, um, and I don't. <laughs> so that's not good. It's okay though. We'll do our normal London development. We're gonna get our pawn or our knight up here. Maybe castle. I don't know. We'll see. Jump our knight in. That's a classic theme of the London system. It's a beautiful outpost, and if he takes with his knight, I take with my pawn, and it forces his knight into an awkward spot, right? <clears throat> He's gonna either end up over here, well, not there, because I would take him with my queen. He's gonna have to go back, or, or this way. Okay. And now he's got to choose a spot to move. It's kind of interesting. I have a lead in development. I've got all my pieces out and I'm ready to castle. And he does not. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting, but, um, hmm, what does this mean, guys? It means I could win a pawn. I could take the pawn, he takes, and then I take the knight, right? So I can win a pawn, but I can also just drop back, and then he hasn't solved his knight problem, he still has to... He still has to go, right? Yeah, let's just drop back. I don't know. This seems okay for me. Where are you going to put your knight, bud? Now this is, you know, this is bad for my bishop. Look at this. This is kind of sad. So I'm going to... Oh, hold on. Should I do that or should I castle? If I go here and he takes, then I undouble my pawns. Oh boy, this is tricky. On the other hand, this is already defended by my bishop, so I don't need to worry about it. Right? Yeah, so I'm just going to castle and push this pawn so that he can't... I mean, I have a safe square for my bishop. And ah, I think I'm all good. What do you think, guys? I think that's okay, yeah. So now, yeah, I have to push that pawn if he comes up. Okay, so he's got a double attack going on. Oh, brother. I need an attack. I need something going on here, guys. Hmm. This is interesting. I kind of think this might be good, even though 
it exposes my king. <sighs> yeah, that's probably not a good idea. That's going to open up this file. Okay. I, it looks like I'm going to lose a pawn. That's weird. Hmm. Hmm, what do I do? What do I do? Let's see. Knight to here, knight to here doesn't really help. And it's not really a better square. This bishop has really nowhere to go. Huh. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to do this. I can't think of anything better. I, wanted, I want to maintain a presence here in the center. And actually, opening up is probably to my advantage because his king is not castled yet, right? So if my king is castled and his isn't, I should be able to open up the center. And that's good. That's my understanding anyway. Now, if he takes here, yeah, okay, so now if he takes, I can take with a pawn, I guess. I could take with my rook. Hmm, that's an interesting idea. So, okay, now I have to think. Bishop, pawn, undoubling, or rook. Open up my rook this way. That's that's interesting. So if I take with my rook, then I can put my queen here and but he's going to jump his knight. Okay. So I don't want to take with my rook cuz that doesn't guard the pawn, right? Let's let's take with the pawn then. Uh, yeah, I want to guard that pawn. Now his double attack is meaningless cuz he's not going to you know, like, it's defended twice and attacked twice. And therefore, it's not going to be even. He's going to be losing something for a pawn, which is no good. Okay. So I'm thinking, how about I get my queen right here, attacking this bishop? No, then he's going to go here, defending his bishop. Right? Then I go here attacking his queen. Hmm. I kind of like this idea. Queen to here. What does that give me? Like, he has to defend this. He can't castle. I could also put my queen here. He can't attack it at all. It pins this pawn. Oh boy. I go queen here, he guards. Then he can drop back with a reveal attack, but I would come right here with my bishop attacking his queen. If he drops back, I take. He takes my queen. Oh, my queen is unguarded. Well, but then I take his bishop. He takes my pawn. No, my pawn is guarded. So he's just chilling over here with a rook. Okay, I don't really like that. But I'm gonna go for it. I don't, oh man, hold on a second. Should I go here 
or should I just activate these guys? I could drop back here. I kind of like this idea, queen to here. Oh, how about queen to here? Let's do this. We're going to go queen to here. And then we're going to attack his queen. Oh, he might be going queen to here. Do I care, though? If he puts queen there, I could... Um... Hmm. I don't know. He's attacking this pawn. I can just guard that with a rook. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Not too worried about that. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... I don't know. I'm going to attack his queen. What can I say? He has to move. He can't block with anything because I've got a pawn right there. Well, I guess he could block with a pawn, couldn't he? Oh, no, he can't. That's pinned. Okay, he zips out to here. Not... Well, okay, now I can... Hmm. I can drop back here and attack his queen again. Let's do that. Chase his queen around for a second. Okay, that wasn't a good plan. He he got out with a check, and I basically accomplished nothing. Do I have anything going on over here? Can I get another attacker on that piece? Um... Yes, I can get my bishop right here and sack. Because if he takes, I take with check, and then I pick up the bishop. And my queen... Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Um... I want to just start pushing some pawns, I guess. Here we go. We're going to push pawns, guys, because I don't know I don't know what to do over here. Now, he could attack my queen. Wait, no, he can't. That's the wrong color bishop. Oh, this is a complicated game, guys. Okay, so he is coming over here. He might be castling, right, to get his king out of the way. I'm going to launch these guys forward so that he can't, I, I can, if he does castle that way, I can start storming him pretty quickly. But now I can attack his queen again and she can't go down that diagonal. She's going to have to go back to here and be very cramped. This is a very cramped position. We've got a queen, a bishop, 
Okay. Oh, and now I'm going to pick up... Wait, 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 wait. If I go here, he's going to push this pawn. Oh, and then I fork. But no, he just takes it. Darn! Are you kidding me? He's going to get away with this? Let's try it. See what happens. He's going to block with a pawn. And I'm probably misplaying this, guys, right? I don't know what I should have done. Okay, so if I take, he's going to take with his knight hitting my queen. Then I have to, oh, what a mess. What a mess. Okay, well that pawn is pinned. That's something to remember. This pawn is pinned. Should I launch this guy? Launch this pawn? No, I want to protect my king. I'm thinking of just pushing this pawn. And he takes, I take with my, with, yeah, let's just go for it. I don't know. I don't know what else to do, guys. He can't, this pawn is pinned. And I'm going to get a rook or, or a bishop in here. If I take with my bishop, then his knight is also pinned, which is going to be nice, I think. It's going to be very uncomfortable for my buddy here. I, I'm so curious about how I'm doing. I really want to see the game review for this. I could be headed down the path to disaster, or I could be playing really well. I feel like this is a good position for me. I feel like it's good. Okay, interesting. 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 What? Okay, so I take, if he takes, wait, if I take this way, take, he takes with his knight. Oh my gosh, this is way too complicated now. I'm going to take this way so that this pawn, well, he's guarded by the bishop. Shoot. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Now I can get in here and guard my pawn. That's something. Right? 
That seems good. I don't know. Let's see. Now, what do I need to do next? I think I'm going to bring bring a rook here and go after this pawn with my knight. Hmm. Can't move that guy, but that's a future tactic. If I, if I can make his queen move, we're going to be looking pretty good here, guys. Hold on, is there a trick here? If I put my rook here and he takes my knight, and I put my rook here, he takes... I take with check. He, uh, yeah, he's just gonna move his king away. It's not that good. Never mind. So um, let's see. I could move here. He takes. I take. He takes. He takes this pawn though. So how about we just drop back here and hit the pawn? His pin, his queen is really kind of stuck here because if she ever moves, I can push this pawn with check and and be attacking those squares and threatening a promotion that's guarded by my queen. I mean, this is a really sticky situation for my opponent. So I'm hitting this pawn. He cannot defend it there. He can defend it with a rook. I'm just going to bring another rook. Yep. I'm going to bring a rook too, bud. Now I've got two attackers, and I don't think you have a way of getting another defender. At least not anytime soon. Hmm. <sighs> if he pushes it, I take. He cannot take because it's guarded by the bishop and this guy. If he doesn't push it, I'm going to take it. Uh, if, well, okay. if he does push it, I'm going to take it and then push the pawn and he has to move his knight. Where is he going to go? Can't go here, can't go here, can't go he Can't go here, yep, yeah, that's right. Can't go here. It's guarded by my rook. He could go here. Hitting this pawn. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, interesting. I would love... Well, never mind. He would just take with this rook and start getting unstuck. He needs to really unpin himself here. He needs to move his king and then drop his bishop down to attack that pawn. Now, me on the other hand, I can jump my knight here, threatening this fork. Okay, he sees it. Now, I take... But then there's nothing, right? So uh, maybe I need to jump here. If I jump here, I'm threatening. 
Oh, no, I'm not, because the knight's guarding. Shoot. Is it safe for me to grab this pawn? Let's go ahead and grab the pawn. He must be planning to bring his queen up here. Because he wants to move his queen, right? And, and that takes away my ability to do this. To move my pawn with the discovered check. I wonder if I need to stack my rooks here. Or... No, I was going to say, or do I need to bring a rook over here, do a rook lift, I hit that bishop, but he'll just guard it. Eh, then I can go here. Hmm, tricky, tricky, tricky. Okay, yep, he's hitting that. Kind of saw that coming. So I can put a rook right here or right here, guarding that pawn, guarded by this pawn. I can, um, I kind of like both of those ideas. Let's do that. Let's bring our rook up. Oh, <laughs> no, not that square, buddy. Not that square. Okay, we'll lift this rook up. And then I can stack them. Ooh, I could put my queen right here and force a queen trade. Would that do any good? Gets my... Oh, hold on. He takes, I take, he comes and attacks... I jump in and fork, boom, boom. And if he uses this rook, while well, I'm also forking the bishop. Oh, okay, I like this, guys. Okay, let me think about this real quick. Go here. He takes. I take. He takes my knight. <laughs> now it doesn't work, does it? Um, I kind of think going here and then here to continue guarding the pawn might be something, right? Yeah, let's go here. I bet he's going to go here hitting my rook. Or he's going to take the pawn. Oh...
I kind of want to make his knight move. So should we offer a knight trade? I go here with my rook. He takes, I take. That seems really dangerous for him. On the other hand, if I go here and he jumps, where is he going to jump to? He might jump here. Oh, yeah, that would be a nice spot for him. He's hitting my bishop. Okay, I have to think about this, guys. He's going to jump here hitting my rook. I'd like to jump here and then here. So if I jump here, then I can always... Oh, shoot. Yeah, then he's going to take me. Wait, if I jump here, he takes, I take, hitting his knight. He jumps here, hitting my pawn. I think I'm going to do this queen trade idea. But then my knight has to be here still. Oh, shoot. It's all falling apart, guys. I've got a check I can give. That might be useful as an intermediate move, right? Let's start with that. I'm going to do this check real quick. Let's just see what he does. He might block right there. Ooh. Um, then maybe this wasn't a good idea. Oh, shoot. He's going to go here, but then his knight is pinned. He can't take my bishop yet. Hmm. This is getting complicated. I might have screwed up just now. Well, I can, yeah, I mean, I would have screwed up probably two or three moves ago, letting his knight come in here. Okay, that's a nice spot for his king. Okay, now if I take and he comes out with his queen, I don't think he would do that. I think he would, I don't know. Let's try it. We're going to go here. He's probably going to recapture with a pawn. Yeah, he won't use the queen, I don't think. What I would love to do is trick him and put my bishop here and he takes and I fork king and queen. That's probably not going to happen, right? But I can try it. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try, right? As long as he doesn't recapture with his pawn. That's going to open up his king if he does that, which I think would be a mistake. Because then all I have to do is move this bishop and my queen can come here with check and maybe pick up this knight. That's an idea. No, it's guarded by the queen, though. I can't do that. Oh, no, no, no. Pick up the knight. What am I talking about? My queen's not on the line with the knight. Wait. Okay, so he does that.
He's going to win this pawn, isn't he? Oh, man. Am I throwing away this game, guys? What's happening here? Can I try this trick? If I go here, he takes... I take... He takes my knight. Yeah, I don't have time to do that. Bishop is so good. Guarding this square is so annoying. Oh well, I don't have anything. I need to get out of here. Now I could offer this trade. He takes my he takes my knight, I take his knight. All right, so if I go here, what's he gonna do with his knight? But then I'm blocking this pawn. All right, I'm just going to drop back. And he's going to take... Oh, he's not going to take that. It's guarded by my rook. Okay, let's drop back. I don't know what else to do. You know what? I'm going to take his rook. Wait, no, I'm going to double my rooks. Thoughts. Bishop here, hitting the pawn. Do this queen trade I've been talking about. Queen here. He takes. Okay. Now he wins a pawn. He's going to take that, and I've got nothing. I've got nothing. That's just how it is, guys. I have nothing here. Oh, my watch just buzzed. Oh my gosh, it's doing a firmware update or something. Interesting. Oh, that's so disappointing. I've... Oh, shoot. He's going to get rid of my bishop, is he? Oh, man. I've really messed up. My opponent is playing super well, I have to say. I think I was winning, and now it's like kind of thrown away all right well i'm gonna go here and attack the pawn i think let's go here he's gonna definitely take 
That's okay, I'll take with my queen, and I've got a double attack on this pawn. This way I don't lose this pawn because my queen's going to be guarding. Man, I'm so disappointed. I, My opponent's playing so well. I thought, like, usually you can count on some mistakes. But I guess I'm getting past that level of chess where your opponent's just going to lose a piece randomly. In a game where my opponent doesn't lose random pieces, I typically lose. That's kind of the thing, you know? Okay, grab the, grab the knight, darn, he's, he's doing quite well, but at least I kept this pawn, I'm still a pawn up. And I've got a double attack on this pawn, which unfortunately means he might move it. No, because then I just take it. Okay, he's got two defenders, I've got two attackers, but now I have three attackers. Now what are you going to do? Defend with your king? Now it's pinned. Now I can just push a pawn, boom, oh wait, then it's not pinned. Ha! Joke's on me. He can only defend it with his king, which seems risky. Then I would give him a check. And then what does he do? I have a back rank mate issue. That's another thing to look out for. Hmm, he steps out of the way. Okay, that's interesting. I think I'm going to take with my rook because that kind of forces the issue. He has to trade, I think, right? Now this pawn is very, very valuable to me.
Huh? Hitting this pawn, but if I take and he takes, I don't totally understand the point of that. I don't know if I'm missing something, but I'm just going to go there. And then we're going to go here, hitting the queen. Queen can't go here, 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 here. Might go here, lining up an attack on my, on my stuff, right? Yeah, look at that. Um, but I can defend that by going here. Is he going to come down here and give me a check? Ooh, I can push this pawn. Or I can bring my bishop here and win a pawn. I'm going to push the pawn. Hold on. If I go here and he takes the pawn, he's going to take the pawn. He's not going to give check. So if I go here, this is not check. If I push here, he can't take that pawn because I would promote. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Defended by my bishop. I should really just start pushing this pawn too, but I want to get in here with my knight and, and hit his bishop. You know? out of the way and this is mate in one or no no it forces a queen trade no it wins the bishop so if he's not careful I'm gonna give him a check and win the bishop Good move, good move. Um, he's threatening to take there, but that would be pretty bad. So let's jump in here, I think.
Okay, I'm gonna go here, move into the middle. If he takes that pawn, that would be mate. Wait, no, he can go here, but then I win the bishop. No, then he's defending the bishop. Oh my goodness. No, no, I would just take the bishop. Yeah, I mean, I'm threatening his bishop. Okay, I don't know what to do here. Okay, I don't know. Is he trying to do a, a draw here or what? Let's see, if I go here, all right, I guess I'm just gonna run this way. I mean, what do I know? I mean, I can run this way, right? Ah, now I can block like this. Hold on, if I block here, no more checks. He takes, I, yeah, I think I'm okay if I do that. And now this is looking very dangerous. If he takes this pawn, I think I'm going to be doing quite well. If he blocks that square with his bishop, I can promote and I'm just completely winning. If he moves his, okay, we're going for it. We're going here, check. He has to either move and I take his bishop or block with his queen and I take his bishop again with check. Check. Promote. Oh, and it's checkmate. Oh, I didn't even know that, but okay, good. Wait, why can't he bring his... Oh, my bishop is guarding. Holy smokes. That was a stressful game. It was long. That's going to be the only game for today, guys, because that was so long. Let's check this out. Whoa, I was winning, like, the whole game, and I had a bunch of blunders where I lost my advantage. Okay, so let's take a quick look opening we are very familiar with okay so this was an excellent move that's good he blocked it that was a very good move we just continued development okay this is all good so far i've got an advantage so this move was the best move that's interesting i'm, I'm glad i did it Attacking is a good, attacking is a good, it's plus four, which is bizarre. And now I'm losing my advantage. I'm not, there's some tactic here. It was plus four and I'm throwing that away. So let's go back and look at the line. 
right here. Let's see why this is so bad. Bring my rook over. Wait, what? He takes my bishop, I take... Uh, okay, that makes no sense to me. That's plus four and it's equal material. Like, uh, okay. Okay, whatever. That's... Ugh. I don't get it. So this is all okay. Here, I'm about to make a big blunder. Ah, so that was very, very, very bad. It goes, I, I, have, I have plus three. I lose it all. Let's try it again. How about we just take? No, that's even worse. That's even worse. Take this way? No. Oh, gosh. This was a very tricky line because every move that I see is not right. And that means... I, well, I don't know what that means, I guess. Let's see. What could we do here, guys? Bring the bring the knight over to this side of the board. Oh. Oh, it likes that. Look at that. It's actually going up. Okay, it likes that, but retreating the queen is best. Uh, oh, because of this vulnerability. Okay, we set up a battery and boom, take the bishop with check. Okay, I see that now. My opponent blunders. So he should have taken that. Oh, yeah, okay. Queen takes e5. Oh, duh. How did I miss that? Take the knight, because the pawn is pinned. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. I wish I had found that. Oh, my gosh. I remember even saying at some point, this pawn is pinned. Did I say that before this move or after? I don't remember now. Oh, this is a shame. So I had a big advantage that I threw away. But it's okay, my opponent did not capitalize on it, so... It's like if a tree falls in the forest and no one hears it, does it make a sound? And in this case, it's if you blunder a tactic and your opponent doesn't capitalize on it. Did you really blunder? Boy, everything I do is wrong. Okay, let's try this again. So, instead of that, should I have taken here? Is that better? Yeah, take, because that's more forcing, I guess. I guess, I don't know. At this point, it's plus 11. Ah, oh, and that is too slow. Let's retry. Hit the bishop. Nope. Um, start pushing this guy. Yeah, I think it likes that. No, queen to here. Oh. Yeah. Wait, why though? This is already guarded. Oh, no, it's not. It's not guarded. Oh, because I'm threatening the bishop. Duh. Um, I don't know. I don't really get it. Hey, look at my king maneuvering. I'm doing a pretty good job. That was nice. Now it's mate in three? Oh. 
I'll, I found Maiden 3. Okay, I didn't find it. I was thinking queen. I was thinking, okay, I win the bishop. Then I was thinking queen trade followed by promotion. But then I realized this is a promotion with check. And somehow I thought he would escape to here and then I would queen trade. But I didn't remember this guy. Holy smokes, guys. That was a stressful game. And I didn't do a good job. I mean, let's be honest. I got 76%. That's not great. Usually at 76%, I would lose a game. Today, I won because my opponent was at 68. Yeah, what can you do? What can you do? That's it for today, guys. That was super long. Let me see how long this is. Oh, we're already over an hour for one game. Well, I also did a bit of a game review. Oh, I need a break. No more chess today. I'm all chessed out. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Bye.